This is a rundown industrial area with not much here except empty factory buildings, ruins and waste. At first look, it doesn't appear noteworthy in any way. But it is. Take a look at the street names around here. From Dalai Lama Street, Weaker Martyr Street, to Free Hong Kong Street and Bishop Shea Shiguang Street. All referencing issues for which China is facing global criticism. That's because this area is contentious, as it is at the heart of a conflict that represents the complicated relationship between China and the European Union. A new partnership between Beijing and Budapest has angered Hungarian taxpayers. Hungary rejects the EU's criticism of its recent vetoes. Look, we look at um, uh, China as, uh, as an opportunity and a challenge in the meantime. The area is located along the Danube River in Budapest, the capital and largest city of Hungary in the European Union. The government plans to build a new university here, but not any university. One that would be the first of its kind, the first Chinese university in the European Union. Fudan University, located in the coastal Chinese city of Shanghai, is part of the so-called C9 League, which is an alliance of some of China's most elite academic institutions. The university offers education to over 28,000 students, with its main campus, Handan, located in the Wujiaochang district of Shanghai, and three other campuses that are scattered throughout the city. Yet a newly proposed fifth campus would emerge, in a city over 8,000 kilometers away, in Budapest. Fudan Hungary University is still in the planning phase, with the goal to open in 2024. But the huge plans are already causing massive political turmoil for the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban from the conservative Fidesz party. The new university will teach roughly 5,000 to 6,000 students in four faculties covering humanities and social sciences, to medical sciences, engineering and business management. According to agreements made by Fudan University representatives and the Hungarian government, the project will be constructed by CSCEC, a Chinese state-owned enterprise and largest construction company in the world. The construction will also use Chinese building materials and labor. For financing this project, it is estimated that the Hungarian government will provide around 100 billion for rent, which is roughly 320 million US dollars, while the majority of the cost will be supplied through a loan provided by the China Development Bank, repaid over 15 years with interest. All in all, the government has estimated the total cost of the project at 540 billion for rent, which is about 1.73 billion US dollars. In comparison, the Hungarian government has set aside 4.8 billion US dollars to develop Hungary's overall higher education sector over the next few years. The Fudan Hungary University would take a third of this budget, with the cost of operation and maintenance expected to require an additional 80 million US dollars annually from the Hungarian government, at least for the first few years of operation. The high cost associated with the university has led to skepticism and resistance within Hungary. Yet what has made this project even more contentious concerns the plot of land that the university will be built on. While the Hungarian government promised to donate the 2.65 million US dollar brownfield site for this university, that very same land had already been promised for another project. For years, Hungary has been bidding to host the Olympic Games in the capital city and has planned to use this area for an Olympic village where athletes find accommodation during the games. Afterwards, these units could then provide affordable homes for students, addressing the housing crisis impacting Hungary's capital city. But the bid for the games lacked public support and Hungary ultimately had to withdraw, leaving the games to its competitors Paris and Los Angeles. Paris 24, Los Angeles 28. The government decided to still go ahead with the planning for a student city, eyeing a potential second chance with a bid for the 2032 Olympics. 
In July 2018, the Budapest Southgate International Master Plan Design Competition was launched. It attracted international architecture firms, charging them with the task of designing much-needed affordable housing units for 12,000 students, along with other residential, educational, recreational, and sports facilities. In December 2018, the Norwegian architecture firm Snoheta won the competition with a design that incorporates modern buildings and transportation networks while showcasing green space and the surrounding water. But while it appeared as though the student city was making progress, behind the scenes, Orban and other top government officials worked on alternative ideas for this land. And when the bid to host the 2032 Summer Olympics failed in early 2021, the student city, which would have provided accommodation for the Olympic Village, became less important. It was at this time that government officials began to shift their focus, from the housing project to this new idea of bringing a Chinese university to the city. As early as 2017, during a Chinese-Hungarian financial forum in Shanghai, discussions between the Hungarian government and Fudan University had started. By 2019, a joint Master of Business Administration and Master of Finance program was established in Hungary between the Corvinus University of Budapest and Fudan University. In that same year, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi visited Budapest and expressed that bringing a Fudan University campus to Hungary would be a priority project for China. These ideas became a reality when, in February 2021, the Minister for Innovation and Technology, Dr. Laszlo Palkovich, signed a Memorandum of Understanding with China's Ministry of Education in support of bringing Fudan University to Hungary. In response, the organizers of the design competition and Hungary's state secretary overseeing the development of Budapest attempted to retroactively introduce the Fudan Hungary University project into the existing plans. As a result, the area delegated to the student city shrunk, with Fudan Hungary University taking up space in the north portion of the area. However, once the Minister for Innovation and Technology, Palkovich, assumed the primary control of the project, the plans changed even more. Fudan Hungary University would now assume the majority of the site, with the student city housing project relegated to the north corner. When the plans for Fudan Hungary University were leaked by the Hungarian investigative journalism center Direct 36, the public response was critical of many aspects of the project. Many were skeptical, claiming that the displacement of the student city reflects the government's prioritization of China over the interests of the local student population. The high cost of the project and the ambiguity surrounding the Chinese loan also made some nervous that Hungary could fall for China's debt trap diplomacy. Noticing China's pattern of handing out loans for development projects across the globe, which has caused some countries to rack up debt or cough up political favors. Analysts warned that the loans taken out for the university could threaten Hungary's political sovereignty and economic stability. In addition, the secrecy that has surrounded the project, coupled with the selection of a Chinese company for the construction without a procurement process, has led some to warn of corruption, which has plagued Hungarian development projects in the past. The project also led to a renewed debate about the way the Hungarian government interferes with academic institutions in the country. In 2017, the Hungarian government under Orban introduced a controversial law that eventually forced the Central European University, which was founded in Budapest in 1991, to relocate to Vienna in Austria. This law was viewed as a direct attack on this private university, as well as its Hungarian-born American founder and critic of the Orban government, George Soros. Therefore, the Hungarian government's plan to bring in the Chinese Fudan University not only aligned with the exit of the Central European University, 
but also can be seen as a changing relationship to academic freedom. CEU, which was set up to liberate academic life amidst the fall of the socialist bloc in the early 90s, would be replaced by an extension of Fudan University, a university which in 2019 removed freedom of thought from its charter and added a pledge to the Chinese Communist Party. These concerns have made the Fudan Hungary University project unpopular in the country. A survey by the Republican Institute revealed that two-thirds of Hungarians disapprove of the plan. And that's when, in opposition to this project, the mayor of Budapest and the mayor of Budapest's 9th district went as far as to rename the streets encircling the proposed plot of land, a move targeting China's reported human rights abuses and restrictions on democratic freedom. Streets near the planned Chinese construction site have recently been renamed. Students at the new campus may have to take Dalai Lama Road or Free Hong Kong Road to get to class. In response to all this opposition, the Orban government has softened its support for Fudan Hungary University, putting the project's future in jeopardy. In September, Hungary's National Election Office accepted a referendum on the Fudan Hungary University project, enabling the country to vote on the matter at a future date. And just recently, on December 16, 2021, opposition parties have started to collect the 200,000 signatures needed to hold the referendum. The fact that the government is now reducing pace on this unpopular project may also have to do with Hungary's upcoming election, which is looking close. In order to replace Viktor Orban as prime minister, six very different parties have come together to support the opposing candidate. While the Fudan Hungary University did not alone mobilize a united oppositional front against the Fidesz party, the project is emblematic of a greater issue at the heart of the election, namely the Orban government's relations with China. Following Orban's return to the role of prime minister in 2010, his government implemented the Eastern Opening Policy, an attempt to increase relations with partners to the East, primarily China and Russia. Since then, Hungary has broken with fellow EU members, for instance by vetoing the EU statements on China's crackdown in Hong Kong. While China has partnered with Hungary for numerous other projects, most notably the reconstruction project of the Budapest-Belgrade railway line that cost Hungary to take out a 1.9 billion US dollar loan from China. Some see the close partnership as an indication of Hungary's movement away from its European partners. Having opened its first overseas campus, Jiamen University Malaysia to students in 2016, and a second one, Peking University HSBC Business School UK in 2018, China hopes to make Fudan Hungary University the country's first overseas campus in the European Union. In addition to the ports, bridges and railway projects that the country is funding worldwide, universities abroad represent an additional way in which China is gaining influence. And even if the future of Hungary's Fudan University is still uncertain, the controversy it has caused shows that it will still be interesting to see how the relationship between China, Hungary and the EU will develop in the coming decades. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a very busy time right now as there are a lot of great new videos currently in production. So please make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. Thank you so much.